Welcome back everybody, this is Mr. Longo, and in this video we are going to cover Segment Edition. Now, Segment Edition is pretty much exactly how it sounds like. You take a couple of segments and you put them together to make one bigger segment. That's really all it is. So if we were to write this in terms of letters, we would say that the segment AC is actually equal to the sum of little segment AB plus little segment BC. And that's how we get the big segment AC, okay? So I just wanted to kind of clarify what segment addition is. So if we were to look at the next couple of examples, they're fairly simple. If we know that AB is 5 and BC is 14, how long would AC be? And AC has a length of 19. We just add those two together. Now I want you to pay attention to something here. In a previous video, we talked about how when you name a segment and you put the little line above without any arrows, that means segment. But when you write two letters for a segment but you don't put anything above, that means find the length of it. So that's why when this says AC equals, that means tell me the length of AC, okay? Similar to this one right here, EF. We were given that DF, the whole segment is 11, and this little piece DE is 3, so how long is EF? And in that case, we would just subtract 3 from 11 and get 8, because EF is obviously not going to be 14. Um, another thing to be very well aware of is it looks like DE and EF are the same length in a picture. I want you to know that in the world of geometry, um, in terms of a math class or on standardized tests, not all diagrams are drawn to proportion. It's to prevent you from guessing. You have to be able to use math to figure it out, okay? Especially in cases where some examples we do could have multiple answers, so you wouldn't be able to draw a picture to represent that. Okay, um, so now we're going to take a step up and move to algebraic type of problems. So this is where Algebra 1 is extremely important. A lot of the work we do in geometry you cannot do without having a strong Algebra 1 foundation. But on top of that, we're not just going to give you an equation and then you go solve it. You have to write your own in many cases. So the first one would be this example here. Notice we have three segments, AB, BC, and CD all together. And what we are going to do is figure out what X is and the length of BD. But we're given that AD is 7X minus 3. So to do that, we are going to do little segment plus little segment plus little segment is equal to the big segment. So we would just say that X plus 4 plus the next segment, 2x plus 3, plus the next segment, x minus 1, is equal to the big segment, 7x minus 3. Okay, so that's little piece plus little piece plus another little piece. We set it equal to the big piece. And now we just use algebra to solve. So x plus 2x plus another x is going to give us 4x. 4 plus 3 minus 1 is going to give us 6 and that is equal to 7x minus 3. Now that's combining like terms on the left side. Now again, this is geometry. However you learned how to solve an equation is fine by me. As long as you know how to solve an equation, we're good. If you learn to subtract everything to the left for variables and all of your numbers to the right, that's cool. If you learned where you always subtract the smaller x to the other side so you don't deal with negatives, that's fine. It doesn't matter. As long as we're getting x, we're good to go. So I'm going to do it what seems to be the most popular way. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides and get 3x minus 3 is equal to 6. And then I'm going to add 3 to both sides to get rid of the 3 on this side. And now we have 9 is equal to 3x. So it seems more popular for people to just not want to deal with negatives, which is fine. Divide both sides by 3 and we get x is equal to 3. So now that we know x is equal to 3, this question is asking us to find the length of BD. So to do that, we just have to substitute 3 into the x 
from BC and CD. So this would be 2 times 3 plus 3. So 6 plus 3 is 9. And substitute 3 into x, and we would have 3 minus 1, which is 2. And 9 plus 2 is going to give us 11. And that's how we find the length of BD. Okay? Next example. Sometimes you are not given a drawing. This says that M is between N and O. And I want you to be very careful because when you draw it like this, you're naturally just going to want to write things in alphabetical order. But it says M is between N and O. So you have to be careful with that. And then you just fill in the rest of your information. So I would like you to press pause on this video and try to finish this question on your own. Once you're done attempting the question, click play and see if you got it right. Go give it a shot. Okay, so if nm is 2x plus 4 and mo is x plus 6 and the whole thing from n to o is 6x minus 5, the equation you should have used would have been 2x plus 4 plus x plus 6 equals 6x minus 5. And once we combine our like terms on the left, we would have 3x plus 10 is equal to 6x minus 5. And again, now we're going to solve any way you want to solve. So I'm just going to say that negative 3x is equal to a negative 15, and x is equal to 5. See, it didn't matter. If you would have brought your x to the other side, it doesn't matter. We're going to get 5. Now that we know that x is equal to 5, to find the length of NO, you could plug it into both of these and add them together, or you can just substitute it in for the x in NO. So to do that, it would just be 6 times 5 minus 5, which is going to give us 25. Okay? So that's that. Last two examples for these notes today. One of them is dealing with ratios, and another one is dealing with quadratics, which you probably remember for Algebra 1, you had to factor. Well, that's what we're going to do here. So in this example, we have x squared plus x plus 8 is equal to the big piece 6x plus 2. However, you have to remember that in Algebra 1, when you learn that you were dealing with an x squared, an x, and a constant, that you had to get everything over to one side and set it equal to 0 so you can factor. Um, you learned it as factoring quadratics. So you would have to subtract 6x to the left, and you would have to subtract 2 to the left. And once you did that, you would have x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now we're going to go back and review factoring. Factoring is when we would think of two numbers that would multiply to a positive 6, but add to a negative 5. And the two numbers that come to mind when we do that would be a negative 2 and a negative 3. So an x minus 2 and an x minus 3 would be our solution to the factoring step because a negative 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 5, but a negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6. And of course, we would just take that. Each term gets set equal to 0. And we would end up with x is equal to 2 and 3. Now, this is where in geometry you have to be very careful because sometimes only one of these works. Sometimes they both work. Sometimes negatives work. Sometimes they don't. You need to be careful and check. So to do this, we're just going to take 2 and substitute it into all three parts because you have to determine if it actually works in the entire problem. So 2 squared is 4. 2 plus 8 is 10, and 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 2 works, so that's good to go. Now you need to check the 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 plus 8 is 11, and 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. 
And last time I checked, 9 plus 11 is equal to 20. So in this case, both of them work. Um, there will be times where only one of them does, so you must always take the time to check. And the last statement is a ratio. This says that a, the ratio of AB to BC is equal to 2 to 5. So that means AB is 2 parts and BC is 5 parts. Um, and then, of course, the total length of AC is 14. So this is a very easy thing to set up. It's just you need to be familiar with what the terminology of ratios is. So this is simply little piece 2x plus little piece bc, which is 5x, is equal to the whole thing, 14. So 7x is equal to 14, so x is equal to 2. So the length of bc would be 5 times 2 is 10. Now, a lot of times it's actually very good to check more of it. So even though the question asked you for BC and you plugged it in and found 10, it doesn't take much time to substitute 2 in here and get 4 to double check that it actually adds up to 14. Okay, so that is a video on segment addition. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Otherwise, this is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.